good evening ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we don't have much time because we are about to land as you noticed and uh, usually we don't start uh, clips like this but I wanted to show you the hat of the Dreamliner of the Boeing 787-10 and uh, it is quite interesting. I will magnify a little bit though usually I never magnify when I land. This is a recorded landing and uh, have in mind that uh, you must have the hat exactly like this. I mean if you move the cockpit then you lose uh, the indication so it must be something like this here, exactly here. And actually uh, this is quite useful because you have all the indications that you need when you land. This is quite helpful. You have the speed here, you see 160, you have your elevation, 1 to 3,000 feet, and also you have your rate of descent here, minus 500 at the moment. And uh, mostly you can aim the beginning of the runway with uh, the HUD, isn't it? And so this uh, makes uh, landing slightly easier. We will watch the landings a few times. And um, I have a few things also to say about uh, the updated 787. I wish it weren't updated. But anyhow, let us have, at the land let us have a look at the landing because the landing okay, was, let's say, despite a few problems, somehow successful with a rate of descent below 300 low 300 feet per minute when touchdown, actually 295 if I remember well. And uh, you just have a look here at the circle, isn't it? Here, exactly. To aim the beginning of the runway, because our runway was not that long, was about 8.8 feet, 8.8 thousand uh, feet, yeah, exactly. And so you have a look now at the HUD, not at uh, the indications uh, in the lower part of the screen, left and right. So you control your speed, which will be reduced even further. And at the moment, and at the right moment, you flare. This is quite important. So if we go here, exactly here, we see Exactly 295 was our touchdown. Okay. Now, for instance, we see that if we have a look at the saved cameras with uh, Alt 1, for instance, which is my first saved camera for the landing, uh, we don't see any indications on the HUD because, as I said, uh, HUD must be in a specific position in order to see the indications on the HUD. So if we press once again Alt-1, here it is, it appears. Just remember that uh, if you move the cockpit left or right, you may lose these indications. And also, though we don't have much time until landing, I wanted to show you this. At the same time, you can have access to your cameras for instance, here, we go to the saved cameras. This is a mode for the Dreamliner, for the 787. And with A or Shift A, we navigate uh, to the default cameras, to the cameras of the mode, isn't it? Yeah, these are quite impressive, especially this one. You can as well watch your landing from this point of view, which is a wonderful uh, saved camera, of course. And now, if you press Insert, you go back to the cockpit and also here I have uh, saved uh, the drone camera and we will also examine the landing with the drone camera and here is our HUD it must be exactly in this position you can magnify even further I never magnify when I land I, I don't think this is fair to magnify but anyhow, what to say? <laughs> Most of the clips I see, everyone magnifies in order to see better the runway, as if, as if they have Googles when they land. Yeah, as if they have Googles when they land. And don't forget that you can aim with this um, circle here, the beginning of the runway, better. So, all together. This is the saved camera. And here, 
we see the drone camera at the moment, which I put, of course, in a specific uh, point of view. And here it is our Malaysia landing in Paphos International Airport. Now, uh, the clip is also about something else that I wanted to show you, and maybe you have already noticed something, something that it is uh, extremely wrong after the A AU2 update of the Dreamliner. And uh, unfortunately, there are problems, there are serious problems. I was afraid about this. You see, you must have a specific point of view in order to see the indications of the heart. So my point is that the plane veers, and actually it veers to the right, mostly. And uh, this actually was uh, one of the best landings I performed uh, lately. I was only landing in order to see what is going on with the plane, what is going wrong with the plane. And uh, yes, okay, I mean, uh, earlier before the update if you follow the channel you know that uh, the dreamliner was uh, landing with a speed about 180 185 190 was landing with a speed of 190 knots your speed was not that high maybe you remember that that the plane had a tendency to drag you to the ground when you were let's say very close to the threshold of the runway and you were about to land, the plane was dragging you to the ground, so you had to increase speed continuously. And finally, of course, uh, you decide to keep the speed during landing, so it was a speed about 180. Those problems of the Dreamliner were, were never solved. And uh, after the update, this I think, okay, it is better somehow. However, the plane uh, has a tendency to veer, and uh, the truth is that I don't know if it is, I mean, flyable or not. I'm a little bit, uh, how to say, fed up with the Dreamliner and the problems that this plane has. So let us have again a look at the landing. And uh, I will not insist much, and maybe we will have uh, nicer mix on something. Here it is exactly, you see, you aim to the beginning of the runway, exactly here. Okay, 295. Exactly. And then it is a struggle in order to keep your plane on the center of the runway. And that was one of the best. Actually, you can even skid off the runway very easily. Also, don't forget that at the same time, when you repeat a landing, when you watch a landing with, or with your flight recorder, uh, you have your own safety cameras. For instance, uh, okay, these are the cockpit cameras of mine, the takeoff and landing uh, views. Yeah, this is also very nice. I mean, this is really something nice. Old 4 or Old 5, was it? The what's up guys view, isn't it what's up guys? We are landing. You can even see the HUD. And these cameras are nice because you can have a look from both sides when you land. They're quite impressive. At the moment, these are my saved cameras. At the same time, as I said, we have the default cameras of the add-on, which change the actually bad cameras uh, of uh, Asobo 787 and you navigate uh, to these cameras with A or Shift A and uh, many of them they are just wonderful of course Shift A now we go back And if we continue, we have also the landing camera. Maybe we will have a look from this point of view. It is this one here. Maybe we will have a look at the landing. Yeah, we can have a look from both directions, actually. Okay. Yeah, this is easier due to the HUD, because uh, with the HUD somehow we can 
especially when uh, our runway is not a long one, we can somehow aim for the beginning of the runway. And now this is the point of US selected arranging the drone camera in lock mode. At the same time, of course, since the landing is recorded, you can also watch your landing. navigating inside your cockpit and if you want for instance this is a wonderful uh, camera maybe can I save this one for instance CTRL CTR plus ALT plus let's say zero ALT 9 and ALT 0 this is the camera I saved now I will go to ALT 9 which is another safe camera actually I changed uh, these cameras right now and, and CTRL plus ALT plus 9, so I saved two new cameras. By the way, here I saw that I deployed the speed brakes to reduce my speed. So the two cameras I saved right now, ALT 0, I bring back the first one, and ALT 9 is the second one. And with the mouse, you can as well change your point of view inside the cockpit, as I said, with the, how it is called this one? The scroll bar of the mouse, yes. You can go, for instance, to the first officer's point of view, which is something like this. And all together, for instance, all three, all five, Alt 6, Alt 7, these are my saved cameras, Alt 8, and now we save these two, Alt 9 and Alt 10. Yeah, these are really nice cameras. I go back to the drone camera, and here we have the add-on, and the camera views of the add-on, which are these ones, some are really quite interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, let us watch the landing for one more time. I wanted to show you a few things concerning the HUD and the way I save my cameras and I use the cameras during uh, landings actually. And maybe then we will have a nice remix song to watch our landing with the 787 Dreamliner of, my, of our beloved, of our beloved most beautiful airplane in Paphos International Airport, which is our Malaysia 787-10 Dreamliner. Now, if there is a camera that you don't like, for instance, okay, this is the landing camera, it is just wonderful, you go again back with Shift A. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. This is a mode and there is a tutorial uh, about the five, six modes I installed for the 787. And if you want, you can have a look. Also, the cockpit is a mode, this uh, wonderful yellow chairs and all these wonderful white colors of the upper panel. It is an additional mode. There are also modes for the lights, the headwind add-on for the lights of the 787, the strobe lights, the beacon lights, and the landing lights. Again, A, 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 A. And I can as well return with Alt-1 to my saved cameras. Exactly here it is our landing. Yeah, I will not insist any further. And here is the drone camera. The truth is that mostly what I wanted to tell you is that uh, Houston will have a problem. Uh, yeah, I can't help. I mean, I can't help it. Uh, the plane veers, veers uh, to the left. And I repeat, that was one of my best uh, attempts somehow. Yeah, you see the speed brakes and spoilers are deployed and somewhere here we exit the runway so bye for now